What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you a very simple method on how to sketch a dragon. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and sketch a circle to define the size of the head. We're gonna start at the very top. It's gonna work our way around the left side. And just bring that down towards the bottom. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna get the right size and location. Let's add a line coming down the center of our circle, starting from the very top. It's gonna to lightly work our way down towards the bottom of our page. Let's go back to the center of our circle, draw a straight line going all the way across towards the left side, and then extend that out towards the right. Let's draw another line across the bottom of our circle, again going out towards the left and right. Now we're gonna go all the way over towards the left side and draw the top of the head. I'm just gonna curve this up and just bend that in towards the top of our circle. Let's add another guideline from the tip of our beak to the top of our circle. So we'll draw a straight line going up. Now I'm gonna place the eye inside this gap. So along this line, I'm just gonna curve this down and back. Now let's go back to the front and draw the edge of the mouth. I'm just gonna curve this up, bend that in, bend this up towards the eye, and then back down towards the corner of the mouth. Let's round up the jaw. I'm just gonna pull this down and then in towards that bottom line. Let's go to the bottom center of our circle. I'm just gonna curve the neck, going across, and then bring that down. Let's round up the head, coming in and then down towards the neck. Now you want to draw on the back side of the neck, starting from the top of our circle. It's going to go all the way around and just pull that down. Now I'm going to follow that same curve along the front of the neck, coming in and we'll bend that down towards the bottom. Now you want to surround the face with a series of points, starting from the top of the head. It's going to bend this up and across. Bring this back down towards the top of the head. Let's add another point, just extending this up above the circle. I'm just gonna curve this in and then bend that out. Now we're gonna draw another curve coming in and we'll just stretch this all the way out towards the back of the head. Let's angle this down towards the center of our circle with a straight line. Let's add another point coming down towards the jaw. So just gonna round this out. Now here we're gonna pull this in and then down towards the chin. Now I'm gonna layer another horn in behind these spikes. Starting up here, bend this up and then out towards the tip. Let's taper this so it gets wider as we come back in behind. Now I'm going to draw that same length horn in behind the head. So we'll start from the top, just going up and out, just following that same curve and just tucking that back in behind the head. Now let's move to the tip of our pencil and add some detail and shape to the eye. We start with the brow. It's going to round this out. It's going to add some folds going up across the top edge. And working our way towards the back. just coming down along the bottom of the eye. We'll just darken up the bottom edge. And then we'll add a thick fold along the bottom and just shade that in. Add some folds and wrinkles along the inside. And we'll use the side edge of our pencil and just shade in the bottom edge of the brow just to give this some shape and just blend this up. And I'm just going to work our way across the top edge of the beak, just adding the shadow.
go back to the front and start adding some shape to the mouth. You can see that I'm just adding some folds and wrinkles in between. Now I'm just going to layer the teeth underneath. And I'm just going to add a bump along the top for the nostril. Just working our way across the top of the head. Go back and add a shadow across those spikes. I want to create a little bit of shadow underneath the mouth, going around the teeth. And just darken up the top and just fade that down. I usually like to add a little bit more detail as I go. I'm just going to add a few spikes along the bottom of the chin. Go back and just darken up the bottom of the head and just blend this up. And I'm just adding a little bit of texture inside the head. I'm just adding a little bit of texture to these horns. Just working our way across towards the tip and around the cheeks. I'm just going to go back and refine that texture. Tip of our pencil.
And using the side edge of a pencil, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading to the front of the neck. And then just fading that out towards the back. So I'm going to add some spikes across the back of the head and the neck. Just using this guideline, just working our way down. I'm just adding a little bit of fur coming out from the neck. Now as we get near the end, I'm going to enhance our contrast and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork and that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a dragon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.